to everything turn 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 there is a season turn 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 and a time to every purpose under heaven a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a time to reap and a time to every purpose my name is Pete Seeger and I'm just one of a handful of people who started this Beacon Sloop Club almost 40 years ago. The Beacon Sloop Club promotes interest in sailing. It promotes sound ecological practices and activities. And the Sloop Club organizes festivals every few months. My name is Saul Rosinski. I'm president of the Beacon Sloop Club. The Beacon Sloop Club is a very busy organization. There are about 200 members in the Beacon Sloop Club, and we run five festivals a year. We run a sailing program. We maintain uh, four boats. We maintain a harbor. And all of these things are done by volunteer effort. The demographic basically has changed in that we've all gotten older. And we're doing our best to involve a new generation of people. It's an environmental organization. Uh, they wanted to clean, clean up the Hudson River. Pete Seeger uh, was the spark. It was around 1960 that I fell in love with sailing. Well, I bought a little plastic boat and started trying to learn to sail here in the Hudson. But I looked at the water underneath me and there were lumps of this and that floating past. They built a replica of the Mayflower. Why don't we build a replica of a Hudson River sloop and remind people what a beautiful river it is. And a bunch of volunteers can sail it. We had one friend in the city hall. He found we were looking for a place to meet. He said, well, you know the old diner on the waterfront? We were gonna bulldoze it. You can go ahead and use it. This building was about two thirds the size it is now. The tree was here and the building was expanded to incorporate the tree rather than cut the tree down. And basically, uh, you know, we've been growing ever since. To promote interest in sailing and foster good fellowship and safety in boating, to encourage the sport of boating, to promote the science of seamanship and navigation, and provide access to information and training in the skills and techniques. Hudson River sloops were the most beautiful boats we ever knew. There used to be 400 sloops. Uh, it's a Dutch word, it means a single-masted sailboat. Well, a sloop is a type of sailboat that has one mainmast, and it has one mainsail that's behind the mainmast, typically a triangular sail, and it has another sail called a foresail or a jib that's mounted in front of the mainmast, and it may have a topsail way up on top of the mainmast. That's what we have. We have a Hudson River Ferry Sloop called the Woody Guthrie, 33 feet on deck, designed uh, the way they were designed uh, 200 years ago. My name is Tom Baldino. I'm a captain on Wednesday nights on the Woody Guthrie. The Woody is, uh, it's, it's not like the average uh, sailboat because it's like a restoration of what the boats were like on the river two, three hundred years ago. When they step on the uh, Woody Guthrie, they're stepping back into history. Essentially what we do with the Woody is again, we take out guests five nights a week for free. We've been taking uh, over a thousand guests out for the last four years. We go to other festivals and things like that. Always with the same idea, just to get people on the river. To promote and encourage interest in sound ecological practices affecting the Hudson River and its environs. My name is Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm currently the chairman or the uh, head of the environmental committee. The idea is to draw people down in the river. The water quality is getting better. You can swim in the river. There's something called River Pool at Beacon, which is basically a floating, open, well, mesh bottom swimming pool for kids. River pool is bringing people down here. It, it's the Hudson River water you're swimming in. They do a huge fundraiser each year, have a swim across the Hudson River, and they're sponsored, and the donations go into River Pool. We're 
both striving towards the same thing. The park used to be a garbage dump, uh, you know, just a few hundred yards down the road here. It was a Beacon Sloop Club project to clean that thing up, get it capped, get topsoil put down, get it sown with grass, and get it turned into a park from being a landfill. And they were able to turn a garbage dump into a beautiful park, which is what it is now. So that's the idea of the sloops, is you're giving that access back to the people, and then they'll have a different consciousness of what's going on down here. I mean, there's some really knowledgeable captains here and a crew, and you can learn a lot, and it's all hands-on. We would hope that people would um, join the sail class. All you have to do is um, call my phone number and uh, start chatting about the sail program. Before the sail class ends, we hope that the woody will be in the water and we can take some people from the sail class out on the woody and put the tiller in their hands and uh, sit next to them and guide them. Um, and if they fall in love with sailing, so much the, the better. We like for people uh, that have any interest in the, in the water and in sailing to um, learn the skills and enjoy themselves on the river. We really don't have any age barriers. You don't need any experience. I'd bring the kids out. Uh, maybe Edmund was first. He's the oldest. And then Blaine. We know how to tie most of the knots off and raise the sails. Um, we've actually turned the boat using the tiller before, mm -hmm. like navigated it. The whole point of the club here is to share the knowledge, um, you know, with each other, with the public. You know, whether it's about sailing, it's about the environment, and uh, yeah, there's a lot to be learned down here. The 